In this shot, Amethyst is in front of the building next to the arcade, when in every other shot she's directly in front of the arcade. How does Steven even manage to take off the valve here? That strikes me as terrible design if it takes that small amount of force. How much soda shoots out of that machine if it spills that much? Who do you think has to clean up this mess? Sadie, clean up this mess. Can you grab the soap? Oh! Lars can somehow crack his back on demand. It hurts so much! Yeah, it probably does hurt quite a bit if you're able to bend back that far. Sometimes I sleep on the napkins when I get tired. Is that why they're called napkins? Not since the accident. What reason would the Big Donut have to just keep this untouched fucking crime scene in their back room? I know, I'm probably reading too far into a joke, but still, surely somebody has spoken up about this by now. So you're gonna have to watch this videotape. Steven is going to be working here for a day at most. Is this really necessary? Not to mention that in the time it takes to watch this tape, you'd probably be losing out on potential customers. Donut at the Big Donut. They make the world go round. A treat when you are down. It's really commendable just how much effort the Crooniverse puts into small things like a goddamn training video. Donuts at the Big Donut. Hey, they make the world go round. <laughs> that is surprisingly wholesome, even for this show's standards. Maybe I should phone up Lars, tell him he can stay home because I found his replacement. <laughs> really? And that is surprisingly tone deaf, even for Steven's standards. I know we both love Lars, but this job is the best thing that's ever happened to me and we should fire Lars. Why would they write Steven like this? This is entirely off base for pretty much his whole character. Not gonna lie, it makes me a little uncomfortable that he's suddenly so nonchalant about literally replacing somebody. He's a nice guy, once you get to know him. You must not know him very well then. There was this one time the new Army of War game was coming out. Lars was banned from the only place selling it. What kind of video game company only sells their game at one fucking store? Okay, what kind of competent video game company does that? When I got to his house, I saw he cleaned up his room a little. Sadie must have low ass standards if cleaning up your room a little is one of the standards for being a great guy rather than it just being common sense when you're having a guest over. Jesus Christ, how is he getting that much air? Steven! Why the hell did she seem like she was about to punch Steven? What did he do? I know how to burn people! Oh God, that is not something Steven should be saying. See you tomorrow at work! I don't think you quite understand the meaning of Lars for the day. Sadie's mouth disappears in this frame. But what kind of person does that make you if you try to hurt him back? Uh, hero? Yeesh, they really botched up the writing for Steven in this episode. It's one thing to be upset at a friend for being an asshole, but it's another thing to want to go out of your way to hurt them. In this shot, there are two donuts on the tray, but then in every other shot afterwards, there's only one. <laughs> also, how does Lars not notice Steven having a literal meltdown over there? Steven's outfit changes entirely in this shot. The donut on Sadie's shirt disappears in this shot. How are we gonna find him? Ah! I think he went this way. As mayor, I'm proud to unveil the largest bowl of ice cream in Beach County. I mean, what do you think is gonna happen to it? This is probably one of the most random and obvious jokes in Steven Universe history. It melted, Gary. It came into contact with fire. What did you think it was gonna do? After all I do for you, you lie to me so you can sneak off with some other girl? And other boys! <laughs> also, I'd feel a little bad for Sadie here if she didn't agree that the best way to get back at Lars was to literally set his stomach on fire! The wrongdoings of these two are a little imbalanced, don't you think? This is both cursed and very much non-consensual. I'm not apologizing. What an awful thing to have Sadie say here, seriously. If your friend lies to you and hurts your feelings, you can scorch their insides, taking a risk of literally killing them, and you'd be in the right for doing so. This episode seriously needed a rewrite or two before it was given the green light. We make a pretty great team. You were absolutely no help whatsoever. Eh.